Oh my goodness, look at that. What's up everybody, F Brock on hitting you with another video. Uh, before I even get started, I just wanted to say Happy New Year to everybody. Uh, I hope you all have a prosperous and successful new year. Uh, whatever you didn't get to accomplish in 2021, you definitely will be able to do it in 2022 if you set your mind to it. I also wanted to say thank you for everybody who uh, took the ride with me over the last year. Uh, I was able to go into 2022 uh, with over 900 subscribers. I definitely appreciate that. And it's giving me the motivation to, you know, just keep pushing, working harder. And uh, I promise you that the videos will only get better. First, I wanted to go ahead and make a quick video about uh, the PRL Flex Fuel Kit and the hose deterioration that they uh, put a release out about. I really don't feel like it was adequate enough how they did it. In this case, these hoses were, there were several cases of people having these non-PTFE hoses deteriorating from the ethanol that was being run through. I've had my kit for about a year and some change. Personally, I don't know if I'm affected by that, but I didn't want to take any chances. So I went ahead and got some new hoses. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put them on. I think these will allow me to run the fuel that I want to without the concerns that I was having uh, with the PRL lines. And you know, I'm gonna open them up. So if there is anything there, me and you both will get to see it firsthand. It wasn't until recently that I came across uh, a forum post from one of the guys that uh, that I follow on Instagram that he was actually talking about how his high pressure fuel pump went out due to the hose deterioration. So uh, it definitely made me want to get into the the hoses and see what was going on just for my you know, own protection and you know, just for peace of mind. But I figured I wanted to share it in a video so other people who may be you know, running this particular kit, because I have the older version, I don't have this new one that uh, they put out just recently. But I just wanna put a video out, not only putting on the new hoses, but also cutting open the old hoses to see if there was anything going on you should be concerned with also. I purchased the hose kit from, and of course you can get these hoses from anywhere that you want to. Just because I mentioned somebody doesn't mean that you have to use these people to get them. I'm a firm believer that the market is really getting bigger for our platform of vehicle. It's not monopolized by any one person. Uh, as much as it was last year or maybe a couple years before. But I got my hoses from FK8 Tuning Development. He's on uh, IG. Uh, I'll put the link in the description of the video. Just So if you want to get these hoses from him, you can. You don't have to. But I chose to get them because he was the first person I seen that actually uh, wanted to address this issue. So... Uh, you can pick them up from him. This is what they look like. They got the nice AN fittings. The braided hoses. I mean, they're just very nice looking hoses. And you could tell that they're sturdy. You know, they're, they're, they're going to last a while. So um, these are the tools that you're going to need. Of course, you're going to need a sharp blade to cut open the old hoses to see what's going on. You're gonna need some uh, some needle nose pliers, flathead screwdriver. This is 10 millimeter socket just so you could take off the old uh, flex fuel kit. 
3A drive for the small screws that you're gonna have to take off of the clamp that holds down the PRL holes. You're gonna need this 932 socket. Uh, I also have another set of needle nose pliers. You're gonna need this small, I think this is a 2.5 Allen wrench. That's all you really need, it's pretty simple. Uh, just to get ahead of the game, I went ahead and already took this stuff off. I even disconnected the hoses because I wanted to see how, you know, how much work was going to go into it. So I just got these kind of just sitting there. But I'm going to go ahead and take this stuff off. First thing I'm going to do is cut open this smaller hose. And then um, I'll move on to putting on the new hoses. All right, so this hose uh, it has a little bit, you can tell it's, it's starting to deteriorate, but it's not that bad. It's not that bad. This is a smaller hose. It's still, yeah, you could tell that it's, it was starting to, um, and uh, you know, me stretching the hose could be, Nah, man, those ho that hose is really starting to break down on the inside. And this is with me having the kit. I think I bought the kit back in November of 20. It may, may have been October, November of 2020. So I got the second hose off. I didn't get that much spray from the lines. Uh, my car has been sitting overnight. It's very cold. And if you look at the hose, it says it's a multi-fuel, biofuel compatible, carb compliant, pretty much uh, fuel line. Uh, it's EPA compliant. <laughs> Suck for the EPA. But uh, carb number, everything on there. So it's a it's uh, on the surface, it's a good hose. But because of these problems, you know, we're going to dig deeper. All right, everybody. Man, I think I, I dodged a bullet. High pressure line is definitely breaking down. Yeah, if you have these hoses, man, it, I don't care what their uh, announcement says that it only affected so many hoses. If you bought your kit around... Uh, I guess fall of 2020 or maybe even summer 2020 anywhere in that time frame yeah you need to change your hoses regardless of who you get them from um i'm really ticked off that they uh are saying that if you have this issue you could purchase new hoses from them This is a wear and tear item, but come on, man. These hoses look bad. And if this was on a factory vehicle, uh, just like the fuel pump with Honda, you would get a free replacement. You wouldn't have to buy new hoses for a mistake that they made. So I'm, I'm not even playing with that. Those hoses are bad. I'm definitely glad that I got new ones. I'm recommending this upgrade. 
because sooner or later your high pressure fuel pump is going to go out. You're going to have problems. And it's all related to these freaking hoses. Change your hoses out, folks. Uh, once again, this is the kit that I have. And my hoses I just showed you were bad. You need to change them out. And folks, I'm not talking about the cut lines that I put in there. I'm talking about, look at these cracks. Look at the cracks in the line. Look at those dimple marks. See all those little pock marks in there? Those are not supposed to be in your fuel lines. And those are what I believe would be breaking off and getting stuck in the high pressure fuel pump. Look at that crap, man. Wow, bro. This is something that uh, is going to end up being bigger than what they are making it to be. <laughs> wow, man. Wow. Yeah, I'm glad that I changed my hoses. If you have this kit, there it is. That that see now that the fuel is drying off the hoses even more, you can see the extent of wow, you can see just how bad it is, man. So if you're having fuel pressure problems, first place you might want to look is your fuel lines. Oh my goodness, look at that. All right, folks. <sighs> After a lot of uh, just learning stuff on my own, uh, I reached out to a couple people for assistance. This connector right here is a quick connect, so it's a little bit different from what you would normally be used to. Uh, it has a ring that comes apart from this one. It slides over this little uh, there's like a little uh, raised part on there. You slide it over and then you screw it up to where it mates with this part right here. This connector is just the same as the old one. It just It's a push to lock type connection. The one at the bottom is also a push to lock. You can, you can, yeah, you can see it right there. Here's my problem with this kit. This high pressure fuel line is too doggone long. You have to route it all the way back to the firewall and then bring it up and use this 90 degree connector to uh, connect it to the high pressure fuel pump line. So maybe I didn't have to be as gentle as I, as I was, but you know, when you're working on your own car, you don't wanna screw things up. I'm not a professional and I want my stuff to run right. Uh, last thing I need is a fuel line blowing off while I'm driving. And now we got a big issue. Uh, bottom line though, it is done. Start it up for you. There we go. Um, keep in mind I had my battery disconnected. So, uh, I'm probably going to have to ride around again for K tuner to relearn what's going on, but it still shouldn't change the fact of the AFRs. Yep, guess everything's good. All right, y'all, another video, another uh, install complete. If you got any questions, please hit me up. I'm always open for them, whether good or bad, and uh, you know, hopefully 2022 will be very good for everybody who's watching these videos. And uh, once again, I appreciate you tuning in. F Brock 1, y'all. I'm out.